Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, and Contagion, issue number three. This was a badass book, and I'm going to tell you five things about this book after I go over really quickly all the people who were involved in it. But what I'm instead just going to do is this. Bang! <laughs> this is... This is all the people involved in it. So you got Ed Brisson writing, uh, Mac Chatter and Steve, uh, Stefan Segonia, Segovia on uh, art, colorist Veronica Gandini and Ale uh, Andrew Crossley on colors, VCs, Corey Petit letters, Juan Jose Ripe and Jesus Abertov doing the cover, variant cover, Ryan Brown. Yeah, this was cool. This was very cool. Let's get started on this good stuff. So number one, we're going to talk about how nasty this book is, dude. We got people with trees growing out their faces, all right? Just don't even, don't even get me started on that, man. That's just nasty. Uh, anyway, it really does feel like there's a contagion going around, though, right? Um, number two on this book is Ben getting pissed this dude straight up he hauls off and he hits this uh the disease man uh the the, the urchin he just sh splatters this dude everywhere you got to see all the different emotions that this goes through because it's very cool seeing this man uh but that was wild i he, i'm just saying it was kind of necessary. Anyway, let's get to all my number three. And that is that is the title credits that I just got finished showing you and reading because I love that. Dude, those two things that I was just telling you about happened in this book. And then all of a sudden they show up the title and it's like, boom. But the and usually you know, you know, if you followed my my um reviews before, you know I usually don't like that. Just put the credits in the beginning of the book, not at the end, not over here, not over there. Like just Boom, dude, give me the freaking credits, right? No, I'm going to make an exception for this particular case. Brisson putting the credits where he puts them after the setup that he builds, it really feels like one of those those crazy thriller type TV series where you'll have a couple things happen and like, you know, they, they walk up, they see the scene of the crime, the Law and Order crew, and all of a sudden, you know, somebody will say something and then you hear, dun dun, you know, the... Uh, the, the, go through the credits really quick and whatnot. Yeah, that's kind of how this feels. And then it gets into the, the rest of the, 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 the episode, or in this particular case, the comic book. I love the setup, and the title credits really do it. The double-page splash. Freaking perfect. Brisson knows what the hell he's doing. Let's talk about number four on this list. A whole bunch of new characters show up in here, including a couple old ones that we see not too old. Well, it's some of them old. Anyway, um... Uh, Senora Magico appears. He was in volume three of Iron Fist. That was the one with uh, White Jenny and Black Mariah. And also uh, uh, Alex Wilder was the uh, main bad guy in this from The Runaways. Yeah, like that. And uh, anyway, there was this Senor Magico. He was the street magician there. And he was helping him out with a bunch of silly things and had this big problem with Doctor Strange <laughs> being considered the Sorcerer Supreme. It's like, ooh, you're so special, aren't you? This, it was nice seeing him again, and he did bring a little bit of extra humor, much needed humor, to this Debbie Downer of a comic book, bro, because people with trees growing out their freaking mouths. Anyway, uh, there was another character that appeared in, I think it was an old Captain America comic book, I can't remember, but I know I've seen her before, and a bunch of other characters I've never seen before, including this new team, I think it's a new team, the, um, the Bolshevik Bros. <laughs> Bolshevik bro crew. These guys were freaking hysterical. I needed a lot more of them. Anyway, um, I think we have seen them before uh, in the same books. Anyway, let's talk about number five on this list, and that is Moon Knight. Yeah, that's right. I'm going to show you the the next issue. Like, there's a whole bunch of people who, who are going to show up in the next issue, um, but the, the cover is bang, Moon Knight. Dude, loves me some Moon Knight. And it's funny because the ceremonial magic that the uh, the magicians in this book were, were summoning, they said in Latin, um, Lady Knight, cover this city. Yeah, I had to look that up too. I mean, I'm not fluent in dead languages. Jeez, yeah, I'm going to start talking Sumerian next. Anyway, uh, this was sweet. <laughs> this was really cool. Uh, a whole bunch of other people going to show up in the next issue. Electra, White Tiger, Punisher, and Black Tarantula, which I'm really looking forward to seeing what Brisson is going to do with that character also. Anyway, this was a solid comic book. I love this series. I genuinely love the idea that there's this miniature event, all right, mini miniseries event, no tie-ins whatsoever. It's just this, and yet it still feels awesome. Professor Bill, Comic Book University. Class dismissed.